Hello people. Today I will try to quickly show you how I created the hurricane of my previous video, called Rise of the Atlantis. As you will see, it can be done within a few minutes. Also, I wasn't really satisfied with this one, so this one is a little different. You can see that the hurricane is actually a model. And the whole scene is quite simple. To create our new hurricane, I already set up a scene with an earth background. I will do a render, to show you how it looks like. I think this is better than the previous one. I won't really explain all the details behind it but you can download the blend file, to see how it's done. But let's quickly show you. This earth, is composed of four circles. And one ring. This is the ground. This material is composed of four cloud textures. A blue one for the sea. A brown and green for the lands. And a black and white one in between, to act like a mask. As you can see on this little earth-like preview here, the more this mask has white color, the more you see water, the more black, the more you see the land. Feel the almighty power of God as you generate a planet with a single hand. The last cloud texture is the same as the mask, although this one defines the specularity, as the land and sea won't share the same. Here is the atmosphere circle, with a simple blue transparent material. And two other circles, with a cloud texture on it. You can easily find this texture with Google. Typing, earth cloud texture, or something. These two circles have this texture, but one is rotated, so it gives you more clouds. This texture is important, as it is supposed to merge with the hurricane. I know it's not really clear, but don't forget that you can download the blend file. I think we can now start to model the hurricane. Let me turn on screencast to show you the keys. Delete the default cube. And in had a plane. Go into edit mode. You want to create some loops here. Press E for extrude and S to scale it down. As we extruded the plane, it created some extra faces, just delete them with X. And fill it back, with F. Select the outside edges, and press E and S, to create some extra loops, like this. No the hurricane model is almost done. In order to go ahead, and create a spiral shape, we will need a texture. Add a new material, I will call it, hurricane. Also add a new cloud texture. In order to create a spiral, we will need to UV unwrap our object. Change the mapping, to UV here. Open a new window. UV image editor. Go into top view and press U to unwrap. Choose project from view, bounds. Now your texture is supposed to be mapped according to this unwrap, but that's not what we want. Activate the proportional editing, by clicking here, or pressing O. Select the center face, and rotate it like this. Be careful, don't invert the angles here. Now unwrap again. For you to understand, this is what our texture looks like. And this, is what we want. And so, we can obtain this result, by using the UV unwrap. How? Well let's see. If you render, you can see this really look like an epic hurricane, awesome, right? But we are professionals. So let's keep going. What if now? We rotate this all the way to the other side. Compare to the model. The UV unwrap will be deformed like a spiral. We can already see some kind of lines coming from the outside, to the inside. Which is exactly what we want. This is what will create the shape of the hurricane. You can now create the eye of the hurricane, just by moving this face down. I will also scale it down. 
Over. You still don't believe me, right? In the modifiers panel, add a subdivision surface modifier. Rise it up to 5. Add now a displace modifier, select our cloud texture. By the way I will rename it. And now find it back here. And here, select UV. Hurricane. Click on Smooth here. I will change this value to 0.2. You can play with your texture to give the effect you want. I will choose 0.18 for the size and a value of 3 for the depth. Deactivate color under the influence panel. And let's see a render. Now, it has a basic shape of a hurricane, let's enhance this by working the material. Set the specularity down to zero. Add a new cloud texture. Size to 0.4, depth to 4. UV mapping. Uncheck color. Check normal and set it to 0.28. Add again a new cloud. Select Verona F1 and set the size to 0.15, the depth to 4. Also uncheck color, check normal and set it to minus 0.56. Change the mapping to UV. The render is not really what I want. Let's change the lighting. Oh and here, environment lighting is activated, with a value of 0.4. To light my scene, I will use a sunlight. With the default setting, and ray shadows activated. If I render now, here is our big cloud. We can combine now the hurricane with the background. Let me just move my camera and make some adjustment. We have a problem here. As you can see, the hurricane is still a big circle, far from a cloudy shape. We would like to see exterior fading away. To do this, activate the transparency, make it invisible. In the texture panel, add a blend texture, choose, spherical. Select UV. Under the influence panel. Uncheck color, and check alpha. Now the material appears according to the blend texture, which is fading on its sides. Moving the ramp allows me to modify the transparency. Let's see that from a better angle. This is a circular blend texture as it appears. Now by playing with the color ramp, you can see how the transparency is affected by the texture. This is how it works. Let's see with renders.
you can see the side fading a little. Also, it is still a circle, I would like to see some kind of branches fading away, instead of a circular shape. To do that, leave an empty spot here, and add a new cloud texture. Change the white color to a black. This will be used as a transparency mask, to create branches. Select UV, to keep the spiral shape. Uncheck Color, check Alpha, and select Multiply. This texture will also affect the transparency, but not only for the edge. This is what it looks like for now. This is more what we would like. We want this texture to affect only the exterior of the hurricane. We will need a mask. Add a new blend texture upon, on the empty spot. Just like before, the blend will delimitate where the last texture will appear, in this case, on the edge of the hurricane. Select spherical again. And also select UV mapping. Flip the white color to the other side. Using the color ramp, you want to target the edge of the hurricane. Also, change the alpha to 1 here. Under the influence panel, select, add, check RGB, and change it to a black color and check stencil. Stencil allows you to create masks, thanks to the black and white color. Here, the white color is where my texture below will appear. And as my texture below is affecting the transparency, this is where the transparency will occur. See this like a little chain reaction. Let's again see this from a better angle. Here is our blend texture, acting like a mask. As you can see, it delimitates where the last texture is visible. For our effect, we should see the texture only on the edge. If I render this, you should see branches. Here you can see. Trying again. You can make experiments by playing with the two spherical blends, or the transparency cloud mask. Too much now. There are many options here. Let's see with the background. The mesh should be adjusted. T hanks to the ridiculously simple mesh, you can easily do this. There is a strong change, if you deactivate the modifiers. I will scale this down a little.
and also change it to a full white color. If you don't want the shadow of the hurricane, you can deactivate traceable. I will add some stars in the background. Size to 0 0.05 and the separation to 9. Oh and if you see a deformation, it's because I left the compositor active with a distort node. As you can see here. You can play around with this to get a better result. I don't really like the shape of my hurricane now. But it's really up to you to change the model. I think you should keep traceable activated for the shadow. I can also show you a test I did using this method and animating things a little. A whirlpool or maelstrom. I wanted to test it without fluids. Not over. It obviously needs a little more time working on it. And shadows. Here it looked like a hole on the ground. But it's your turn now. Again, if you want to see by yourself, materials or else. You can download the blend file. And if you feel epic, just turn the hurricane this way and see a giant circular saw cutting earth in half. Freaking awesome. Now I will leave it to you. I hope you understood and you liked it. Even it was really really fast. Goodbye.